fourth graders. Today's mini lesson is going to be to help you figure out how to construct your writing response to one of the three articles that you chose to read. With the three articles that I picked, each, off, each article um, was a nonfiction article from either News ELA or Avid Weekly, but you can tell within each of these articles that the author has a certain perspective or opinion on the subject that they are talking about. It's important to remember that nonfiction isn't always just straight up facts, and sometimes the author of articles or books will try to convince you of an idea as well as give you facts. So I want to just make sure you are aware that the author might be using some tricks of persuasion to try to sway you to their opinion. And this might look like they might be talking right to you in the article. They might be using words like you or your throughout the article. So they might say, you know that plastic straws are bad for the environment. So they're talking right to you. They also might ask you questions like, why do you think that plastic straws are such a big problem? Or how do you think that we can fix this? They also will repeat their claim or their opinion throughout the article. And they act like your friend within the article. So they're, they might put you on a team with themselves. They might say, we need to work together to solve this problem. And that is very common in articles. Very often, authors will have one opinion or another. It's very hard for nonfiction authors to just tell the facts. So after reading your article, you're going to have to choose your opinion about what they are talking about. Do you agree with what they are saying in the article or do you disagree? You are going to have two choices for writing your response and giving your opinion. You can, A, write your opinion and list your ideas and reasons as bullet points, or you can write with it write as a paragraph telling your opinion on the article. So this is just two different formats. You can do a bullet point format, or if you wanna go above and beyond, you can write a paragraph about what you believe. I'm going to show you examples of each of these formats. So if you choose that you want to just give your opinion and give bullet points why you believe what you believe, here it is an example about what this might look like. So what I did is I read an article about why plastic straws, well, the author is saying plastic straws are a big problem. And I had to decide if I agreed with that author's point of view or not. And it turns out that I do agree. So I said, plastic straws should not be used because they are bad for the environment. Down below, after I put my opinion, I just jotted down the facts from the article that I agreed with and what I thought was why they are bad for the environment. So notice that this is not all in complete sentences. They, um, are fragments and that is okay because I'm still getting my point across and I'm giving details about what I believe and things that I pulled from the article. I'm going to sneeze, I'm sorry. <coughs> Surprise sneeze in the lesson. Sorry about that. So, what I, so I said, they're not biodegradable. They end up in landfills and oceans. They cause injury or death to ocean animals by poisoning. They are difficult to recycle. They're easy, it's easy to use metal or glass or paper straws instead. And that could be my response. The other way that I could write my response is I could give my opinion in paragraph form. I can write a topic sentence, which shows my opinion. I can add a couple of reasons or evidence to the middle of my paragraph, and I can have a closing sentence. Here is my example of my response. I agree with the author of this article, plastic straws are little, but a big part of a big problem. I believe that, that straws should not be used because they are bad for the environment. My first reason is because straws are not biodegradable. 
Plastic straws are difficult to recycle because they are too small and so most people will just throw them away. When straws are thrown away, they end up in landfills and oceans for hundreds of years. In addition, they can be very harmful to ocean animals. This is because the plastic in the straws can poison ocean life. Finally, it is very easy to use metal, glass, or paper straws instead. We should do our part and stop contributing to this problem. So, this is the paragraph form of giving my opinion on the same article. So, like I said, you have two options. To give your opinion and do a bullet point style of why, or you can choose to write your opinion in a paragraph form. Either way is fine with me, and you will be receiving a Google document where you will choose to either write your opinion and bullet points, or your opinion in the paragraph form. So be sure that you have read one of those three articles and that you have come up with an idea about the article, uh, an opinion about the article, and that you have found, found out why or why not you agree with the author. I look forward to seeing your responses. Have a great rest of your day.